Hi guys, I'm Seb and I'm back with the solo cast mm, once again. Um, this one I've been requested to do it by Run to the Sun, so there we are. I just watched the game and cast it at the same time. Um, I'll let this start with the game. I'm at 5 second mark and unpause in 3, 2, 1, unpause, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what to expect. I think it's a the long game. I think some of you may have seen it already on maybe on broadcast. Um, maybe some of you are <laughs> maybe also saw it on Lollipop's broadcast. I think he broadcasted the replay actually. Well, if you already saw it, I hope you will just enjoy my comments. And if you didn't, I hope you will enjoy both the game and my comments then. Um, So we have run to the sun in Wehrmacht on the south of Samoa and Siberian, Siberian platoon playing Wehrmacht on the north of Samoa, that's the tourney position. Um, I guess it was a ranked game, but it's nice to see Siberians actually training for Sunday night fights. It's this week guys, don't forget. Don't forget to come in on Game Replay COH channel um, Sunday 8 p.m. GMT um, for the title fight. So it's nice to see Siberian actually training um, for that game. I'm really excited to see him in shape for the event. Um, he's doing two engineers and a rifleman starts. That's really standard play. I'm um, sorry. I think I told. I completely mixed up some stuff. Um, I told it was um, Vermarkt on the tournament position, but it's actually reversed. I mixed up my overlay, so I'll just fix that. Um, Siberian's actually American, there it is. Sorry for the inconvenience, um, I'll make time sync if you are just watching the replay with the command. I'm at 1 minute and 50, 50, 50 oh, sorry, 57, 58, 59 and 2, mi two minutes. Um, so. Yeah, sorry for the um, little confusing moment with the Gambian play. So um, Sabrin is playing American and is actually not on the tourney position, he's on the other, uh, other one. Um, but it doesn't make really any difference, I mean both sides of the map are balanced for both players, so I guess it just will make less habits, but it's not really giving him any disadvantage for this game. Um, we if we see the Verma player putting some mi some rice in that place, that's kind of um, I wasn't sure, wasn't expecting that um, because yeah, basically it prevents the American player to go and capping his fuel and munition there, but it's also preventing himself from going to that part of the map. So I believe he will just try to camp around the middle and the top of the map. Some nice rice there too. Any first um, engineers to retreat? Um, yeah, I think yeah, Run to the Sun is usually known for not being overly aggressive and having a rather um, defensive playstyle. Um, very defensive, like creating the opponent all the time and just waiting the opponent to make mistakes and taking bad fights. So we'll surely see that again. Um, I'm expecting from him. Um, Probably at least one sniper, maybe he's going for two snipers. Probably also tier two, um, some grenadiers. Then um, getting tier three for Pumas, Nibbles, and that stuff. Um, there we see second fight of the game. Um, American player was forced to retreat that full, full rifleman squad. That's the first. The first occasion of Vermark play of being defensive, waiting the opponent as we see, and he waited for him, and it worked kind of well since he forced the Dwarfman to retreat, and now he can move in and cap some points. I think he might be a bit too overextending with the talks, I'm not sure yet. Um, I guess since that, um, it's not this one, this and the rifleman went for the munitions in the top of the map and I think he saw it. Um, I guess it can be safe going, putting them probably wise at that position since yeah, the rifleman is there so it can be, cannot be in the center of the map. However, the Y have been cut or maybe he just took the other way. 
So I don't know, yeah, this this one is definitely a nice worry. I'm not sure if she completed it. I think the American can still work to that, that side. And I think he should put the machine gun at this position um, near the trees instead of in the building because it could be suppressing from the trees it could be killing um, my, my uh, engineers trying to cut the wires and from the building I think it doesn't have the range to actually kill the engineers so I think the more offensive position for the machine gun would um, lock down the bridge uh, much better first mine coming up should definitely put more mines and there it is, first snipers on the field and he's getting another machine gun um, interesting I guess he saw that engineers, I don't know, yeah, he knows that engineers um, is going for the fuel since he got the missions before. Um, yeah, I'm surprised he's not going to that point with the machine gun, yeah, he finally goes for that. Um, I'll put for the go four, yeah, he can see, barely see um, this and definitely could not kill engineers if they try to cut the wires. Um, Sarbiran is in kind of not expect um, exactly good position. He's, lo uh, he's locked on, the m on his bridge at that position, and he gets an early weapon support center. It's interesting. Um, he got, I think, I'll switch to his side. Um, only three riflemen and fast mortar. Um, so I often say on my cast it's nice to get an early mortar on this map. So I guess there we are. Um, I think I would have maybe much happier if he went for one more rifleman before the mortar. Um, I'm not sure. And because he has the engineers capping that side of the map, he's not able to actually kill those wars. So that rifleman is basically waiting for nothing. It should be coming on the other on the other side, helping with the, the mortar and the other rifleman. And he's running over lots of mines, really nice mines. All of those riflemen are very low health, and he should probably be getting a trash center to reload really all of them because he's kind. Act at least he's in a good position regarding victory points. Um, the victory points are ticking for him at the, at the moment, but those riflemen will have to retreat um, because they don't have enough else for that. And he got the sniper now, he's getting for counter snipe, I believe. Um, let me check something on the broadcast, I'm not sure if I put all the good settings. I'll just make a time thing afterwards. Um, so, what did I want to say again? Yeah, I didn't put any overlay over the... over the, the time bar. Um, so, uh, yeah, I did it now to not spoil the, the length of the replay. Um, so, yeah, um, I did make time sync. I'm at 7 minutes and 40, se 40 seconds, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So, yeah, that's mor that mortar is fi fighting alone because Rifleman had to retreat. He's nicely getting trash center. Um, he reveals sniper position, so he's not waiting for the counter snipe. He's just deciding to just do manpower kills to against this opponent and reveal the sniper, so the opponent will be more careful with his own sniper. And he get the mine sweeper, since he saw all of those mines. Um, really nice move. However, I think the Vermac is already on T3, and um, he might be getting. I'm not sure yet. Maybe tier 3, he might even be going fast tier 4, I don't know. Um, I'm surely wasn't expecting this. I guess it's the seeing the mortar that made him take the decision of skipping the tier 2, since... Yeah, I don't know, I guess he wasn't really confident of knowing there's a mortar and maybe snipers coming. So he's directly getting the tier, four, tier 3 instead, Storm Armory. And yeah, the, the engineers managed to easily get the wires. Um, he should be using the mortar to build the, the TMG and force force it out of the building. Maybe he could use smoke and throw in flamethrowers. That's another option. Um, because y as you see, when you're trying to kill the unit on the building and the unit is moving, basically you have to wait one second before being able to target it. And if you put like smokes every everywhere on the area, you can just 
um, rushing and just kill the MG wherever it goes, wherever he goes. Um, it depends if the opponent isn't paying attention, and uh, the killing is probably better. Um, we have a motorbike coming. I guess it's for spotting sniper and Drake on to snipe the sniper pad. I'm not sure, yeah, he's got lots of manpower, I guess he can afford it quite easily. I mean, quite safely. Um, it's kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see the first weapon spot center. It's actually kind of paying for himself. I mean, it's not really doing much damage, but it forced the Vermite player to go to move uh, from the beginning, from the cutoff. So that's, that's nice only because of that. Uh, if he went for if he rifleman, he would be completely blocked at this bridge and in a pretty bad position. So it was nice, nice weapon spot center. But he should be getting um, one of the production building either. I think with the fuel, he only got this one and this one. It will be safer to get the motor pool because I don't see him having much fuel for the tank. Yeah, he barely, barely has any fuel. Um, I think yeah, it might be. I don't know. It's not bad, either way. I think he's often going for armor company and um, Shermans and then Calliope. So I guess making um, getting tank depot make more sense. He's planning on the armor the train. It's definitely making sense. And there's a flank coming. Um, rifleman from both direction and MG retreats safely. Um, I feel like the Mac player didn't really expect this. Um, I mean, he probably was expecting the American player to go to his defensive line and lose manpower into those flanking and instead the American player has been kind of defensive-passive in play, just went safe, just was happy with his part of the map and the victory points slowly trying to kill with that mortar, it still has zero kill, but it already has an impact on the game by forcing B to move and preventing the Vermark player to stay in the same safe position. Um, I think yeah, they're both playing quite well at that at that point. All of what I said is just um, basic, I mean, um, not, not basic, but m minor mistakes or just stuff to maybe improve. But no, none of the players done any any real mistake. Maybe they could more mines. Um, he has lots of munitions, and I only see on one or two mines. So it could be definitely affording a bit more mines. And the American player also probably um, no, he spent his munitions on something. I'm not sure what it was. Um, another, yeah, I got two mine super squad. It's quite kind of surprising. Since the Vermont they don't put that much mines, um, only one or two of them. I guess he might be one too much um, mine super. And there's the sniper waiting for the snipe. As you can see, since he revealed the sniper with that only one shot, the Vermont player has been much more careful and only has three kills on his sniper for now. So he has been yeah, much careful and by revealing the position, he prevented one from doing too much kills. Even if he's not counter sniping, he's reducing quickly the amount of loss. And there is a Nebel Wafer, um, which is a nice unit against passive gameplay like this. Um, to break defensive positions, it's also always nice to have um, to have indirect fire units. And you also got the Stook. Um, I'm afraid that one Stook won't be able to deal with the tank depot, so we should um, probably get to the second one. Um, the Puma, it's nice to, pre to prevent riflemen to harass the map, but it's not going to kill the M10. Should be careful to sticky bombs and not staying too close. Um, yeah, I think it might be, it should be, it should, will be time for him to get the Veteran City building. And maybe an observation post on the fuel, because it doesn't have that much for T3. You cannot ever afford any Veteran C or one more Stug and he has lots of manpower. So he probably should have put an observation post as the American player finally did for his tank depot. It came a bit late but he finally nicely got it on some mob when you're going for um, higher tiers buildings. 
you should definitely get the fuel upgrade because he's floating so much manpower at that point. I mean, yeah, he, he kind of didn't lose any units in the start of the game, but it um, it really is not getting any advantage of it since he's not using his manpower wisely. Should have that of observation post on the fuel, maybe one on munitions, and could have more units like officer to get units faster, maybe one more neighbor. Um, I guess he's waiting for the the stug, which he can a can afford at that point. But he's really floating too much resources um, at that point. Really, really too much. Um, you will have to retreat that engineers at that point. I'm not sure why he's trying to for to slow retreat. And I'm also not sure why. It, yeah, I guess the American player is going with the engineers to spot for any mine instead of the rifleman to kill the pioneers. Uh, yeah, why not? And yeah, finally, Nebel were for um, killing the defensive line. Any backtech to tier 2, I really don't like that. Uh, especially on this map, he's probably just going for a back to counter those tanks. But considering um, the position on, wi on which it is, um, it's definitely not a good idea. The pack isn't as bad as it was previous patch. Previous patch, it would be good to do that, but not anymore. We should be spending the month more on more fuel. And the fuel on more stug and just spam stugs and get veterancy for them. Because the pack doesn't scale into the game, I mean it's like an, an early AT gun and it will never counter like lots of armor or maybe if there's pushing or calpy, it won't be able to counter it. Um, however, if he had like three stugs, um, it could be easily countering and then by focus firing with the stugs. So yeah, I should. I think it's a mistake to go to tier two and one more number. I think it would be much better for him to just spam tanks because the opponent doesn't have much mines, he doesn't have much AT. I mean, yeah, he has two and ten, but there's kind of he can't I tank. If they're fortified by much more than one one tank, then they can die pretty easily. He should also be getting veterans here. Um, once I get one tank. I get at least better once you want for it. Um, you could also, yeah, I would get for the tank first. You could maybe get it for infantry one since it's rather cheap. But definitely the tank one is really missing. Ah, yeah, he has two number weapons, so you should get the support veterancy also. Could be setting up that MG and pushing the rifleman with the neighbor. Um, I'm not sure why it's not doing that. But he could be easily pushing. Yeah, he's finally doing it. Nice play. Nice micro. So there's that M10, um, I'm not sure why the Kuma is not firing with the two against the M10. Um, sniper died on the mine, quite unfortunate. And there's the neighbor once again, we force the retreat. Um, I'm not sure what he's doing with the Stug, it should be firing at... Ah, uh, he went for the uh, nice, actually that's my mistake. He nicely played with it by going for the low ice and then first focus firing nicely. He should be moving it back. And yeah, that pack and that pack isn't going to be able to kill those those two M10s if, if they move away right behind the edge or stuff like that. Um, if he got if he got um, like one or two most two instead, he could be chasing off that uh, M10 and finish it. Basically, he was in a good position, and progressively, the American player got the whole map. Um, I think the Vermont player could have done maybe better at some point. He shouldn't have let the American grab the map without really fighting for it. Um, because now he's in a kind of bad position. He's pretty close to being pop capped, doesn't get much resource, and even more importantly, Vermont player is kind of low in victory points. Three of them, it's going to tick, um, tick down quite fast. And you should deal those volks, they're really too much uh, damage, low health. Um, that mortar still has only two kills, <laughs> it's really not much. But yeah, since the, the mortar didn't really have much units to actually to to kill. Um, but he do he's done his job by forcing MG to move from that bridge. And he went for Blitzkrieg. Um, yeah, why not? Um, at that point in the game, I probably wouldn't have gone for defensive because it has nice early game abilities, but it isn't really that good on this map. And the stuff of defensive, I don't know. 
Yeah, probably not going defensive, I could understand that. Um, getting blitz, I don't know. I guess he's going for the tiger. Um, but I don't know why he would be going for the tiger instead of the king tiger. When he could be spending munitions on the terror doctrine with his first retreat or first storm and all that stuff. Um, I don't know. I guess yeah, it's a, it's a plan potential. But really, if he's going for the tiger, should really getting veterancy, tank veterancy, building up veterancy. So when the tiger comes, he has a nice amount of of that um, veterancy, like two or three. Uh, and instead, he's going us two. I don't really understand that decision. Um, it's a nice unit against buildings and infantry, but it's actually the main. The main thing he has to counter at that point is to sentence and since there's no doctrine from American yet, he could really be expecting armor doctrine at some point. Um, and um, I have the feeling that Stu maybe is not the best choice. Could I think I would get uh, more Stu instead. I really think getting like three or, or four Stugs and getting veterancy for them is a really strong strategy. And he's getting one more pack instead, and I don't really like that. It's it's really not scaling well into the game. Um, I don't. He should be retreating those. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like he should be getting more stug instead. Um, little time off. Not much happening. Um, yeah. I, I use that opportunity to make a time thing. So my, I'm at 20 minutes and 50, 50, 56, 57, 58, 59, 21 minutes. So there's now the two tanks and one German and the Vermont is really not in a good position. I mean those packs are only um yeah only tank dedicated counters. If he get the stug instead he could also be countering infantry with them, he could be busy, they could do anything. And the bank only a week um, on the tank at that point. And there's a dead war machine used, um, which means he's finally armored the crane. And the Vermont player is killing the tanks with a little more machine, which is kind of a mistake. Um, I guess he killed them because he, he hoped killing he would keep his tank alive, um, which might be the case. So if he keeps the the two alive, then it was not that bad move. But those two M10 are being back for. I I was going to say for free, but yeah, obviously it's for lots of munitions, but. Yeah, it saved, it saved the, the stooks so far, so why not? And he might be able to finish the Sherman. Um, because the American player was using the Sherman, it was sitting alone there when all the other units he has are on this base. Um, but yeah, I have the feeling once Calliope will hit the field, those, those pack will not really be any use. Um, if he had stooks, like lots of took and veterans instead he could be finally pushing the American um out of the map. And yeah he should be getting that veterancy. Um I don't like the um, the taking plan he's going from the moment, especially since he didn't back up this time to repair it. Mm, should should be getting probably a repair bunker. Um I don't see a good reason why he would even get it. Yes. Lots of stuff to win for us. But here we probably see the weakness of those packs, um, they're not going to kill that tree. Um, if he had stuck instead, yeah, he'd be killing that infantry. But there's the Volks and still the sniper, not much kills. I'm not sure if he saw the sniper dying on mine, because if he saw it, he would definitely be using sniper more. In mine sponge so he should cancel it. And she would treat the pioneers before he died. <laughs> I don't understand, it's been really. And there is the rifleman, yeah, going behind the packs, as I predicted. Um, it still didn't manage to decrew it, so. Vermont was able to finish that tank once again. So I feel, yeah, the American player is losing too much units there. Um, I lose that rifleman on the retreat, yeah, he lost it. He lost too much tanks also. Um, it's kind of bad. Um, he was in not not so bad position, and Vermont player did some taking mistakes. 
any kind of crew away is advantage, he will also lose the mortar. He's losing really so much on it. Um, he managed to kill something with something else. I don't know what would actually kill that. I, I guess it's not even the Sherman. It's I don't understand how, how it how it died. Maybe the mortar got it? Yeah, it might be the mortar actually. But yeah, I don't really like this taking plan. Should he be yeah, it could it could it could end the game much uh, faster with a nice um, stuke spam and veterancy. I'm repeating myself, I think, because <laughs> I don't give I strongly believe it. Um, even at that point, not getting veterancy is really strange. One for infantry, one for tanks. He knows he will have the tiger. He wants the frequency and yeah, he, he completely killed all of the units of the American player, and he's not ever capping the map. He's kind of being back to his much, uh, really too much defensive um, play. It should be after that full retreat, lo retreat, first retreat, and kill all of the units. He should be clearly affording to expand. He clearly afford to expand all his units to cap the map to put lots of mines. Should put my cap. He could be safely capping with the sniper, putting mines with the pioneer instead, and bringing back the. He could be putting a machine gun bunker to prevent that victory point, and bring a machine gun in the center of the map. And those packs are so slow to react to the tank. And that neighbor hasn't been used. I think yeah, he completely forgot about the neighbors. They are not firing, and they both have zero kills. That's kind of surprising. They only didn't kill anything. I don't know. He's, uh, I'm not sure if he did, really didn't fire or if he missed most of the shots. But it's definitely not all you want to use them. He should be fighting with all of his army there instead of those two little infantry front of his squads. Um, yeah. The early game was really exciting and. This mid game is kind of disappointing, at least in my opinion. Um, they both kind of American player didn't take losing so much in it. Vermark player didn't capitalize on it. And has been overly passive when he should have been when he could have been aggressive. Um still not getting veterancy. Um only getting Defensive units, machine gun packs, never not even far wing with the nibbles. Um It's really letting the opponent come back. That's kind of unfortunate. I mean, yeah. So um, f I think the main, the main. Um, issue at that point for the American is that he lost so much infantry and ever tanks doesn't have anything and it's really really quite fortunate for him that the Vermarker isn't going to cap the whole map because he would have absolutely no resources or I mean no force to actually prevent that capping and also to get back the map he absolutely have no units to get back the map again all of those Vermark forces so that's really unfortunate the Vermarker isn't going for an EV capping, capping around the world map, it's really sad and yeah, I, I have the feeling the game will go much longer than it should be because of that and I don't like when the game is going longer for no reason there's the Panzer Shrek fighting alone against the Sherman they shouldn't do that, they could go into the building to not being crushed because if they are not on the building they can easily be crushed as you see there um, I'm a Vermont player once again floating so much resources, not moving any units, the Nebel still didn't fire since last time I was talking about them. Um, there yeah, so much munitions, fuel, manpower. Um, it's kind of sad to not capitalize on a such advantage. It should be really capitalizing on advantages because that's really a weakness at that point. I mean, being defensive and not taking risk is not a weakness. It's kind of a play style. But at that point, it's really throwing away an advantage. Um, shoot on this path. And once again, I hit the war machine. 
I'm already we lose those those tanks uh, for kind of nothing. We will get them back, but it's like he's just wasting munitions. Uh, he has nothing to gain in that fight against Pax with the tanks. Really nothing, so that's kind of stupid way to rush in and use a little war machine for that. And once again, Marker, he really mm, had to kill that tank. He should have been focus, focus firing on the Sherman and just finish the M10 afterwards. And it would have been a bad fight for the American player. And once again, he, he, those vaults, they could be camping the whole map. The American has nothing to prevent it. Um, I don't know why he's sitting there. That's really worthless. And finally, veterans are coming a bit late, but better than never. I think yeah, it could be it could be for spamming bunkers, one MG bunker to prevent victory points, on one or two repair bunker to easily repair all of the spike tanks and all that stuff. Um, I don't know. I feel like this mid game plan is a bit fail. And once again, the pack being overrun quite easily by infantry. Uh, I also don't like seeing that. And there is still the M10, right? Alright. Though it was under the vocal in, but it's still the M10. And those nebels finally, I think. No, and still didn't find the nebel war for That's really sad. It's like he, he has like um, 15 units, and he's like two of them at the time. I don't. I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't really have anything to add. I think I've told everything I thought about it already. So at that point, I think I should just <laughs> wait for the game to to go on and <laughs> hope it goes better. Um, should be probably using medic medic kits on that. It definitely has so much munitions. He could be getting like two or three Goliaths and rushing them and kill all of those Germans. <laughs> it would be crazy. Um, could also be putting much more mines or putting the Goliath in more defensive position. He could put those munitions on bunker upgrades, as I said. He could really, like, basically do anything. And I'm afraid getting Panzer Shrek isn't really the best thing he could do. I mean, yeah, sure, if he has two double Panzer Shrek, he could, like, almost one shot an EM10. So that's definitely not a bad move. But I don't know, and yeah, American player in front replay was really bad. He only has that one rifleman left, and he, I think he got a second one back, but both riflemen have zero kill, no veteran seen, nothing. That's really, really a weak rifleman play. Um, I really hope for him uh, it will be better for Sunday Night Fight, because otherwise he won't stand a chance. I've seen him, yeah, I actually played him myself, and yeah, indeed he won with Brits and not um, American, so yeah, I guess his rifleman play should be improved. Um, yeah, still the same thing. American still a pack, but it won't really manage to do anything. And once again, he should be using those Panzer Shrek together with the other one. Um, because with two double Shrek, sh uh, double Shrek squads, he can easily finish tanks and he really needs to focus fire tanks to finish them. Not to send them um, one after the other. It's uh, stormtroopers. And he's finally capping, he, he could <laughs> really have the whole map since like a long time. Mm, should definitely be using healing. Medicate. That MG might have die. Yeah, finally. We should have gone for the medic, medic upgrade before the fight to be in a good position. But he will have to retreat because of the Sherman anyway. Oh, I have a kind of some strange bug. I don't know if it's on my on my headset or also in in the game. I don't know. It's really shit. Well, I I don't know. I have that sound back on my headset. I just hope it's only for me. I will finish the. R I don't know if I should finish the replay like that. No, I think I will make a pause. So I I pause and I will check that. Um. 
maybe I will unplug unplug the mic and the headset. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry for that that little problem. Um, I really hope it won't be on the cast, the sound problem. Um, I will also... Oh, one second. One second. Um, I had to, to actually stop the video, so I'll have to either upload two parts or bring them together. I'll try to put them together in only one video. I really should be able to do that. Um, so sorry for that, that sound. Um, Sound issue and little, um, I mean, pause within the game. So I just um, unpause. I'll, I'll just um, wait. There it is. So I'm at um, 34 minutes and zero seconds, and I'll just unpause. Like in three, two, one, unpause. So 34 and one and two, three, four, five, six. Um, so I kind of forgot where I was. I don't even know what I was talking before the interruption. Um, we have the Volks fighting the Rifleman there. Those Rifleman without any upgrades cannot win that fight. No upgrade, no veteran C, nothing since the start of the game. They're really so weak. He might have lost that one, one squad once again. Um, yeah, and once again the stormtroopers used the loan on against the Sherman. It should be. I'm not sure why he used uh, the repair ability. I guess it was to finish the repair on his base faster, and also this one. Yeah, nice repair actually. Um. Yeah, th there's the tiger uh, unlocked, but he's getting veteran C and more more stog, more stog instead. I guess he, he believes having more units would be better than having that strong unit. I don't know, yeah, I think I won't blame him for getting that, that stuck because I would have liked him to get him like a long time ago, <laughs> so I definitely am happy to see it, even if it's a bit late. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't have the population cap actually for the Tiger. But once again he's being really passive and the American has no infantry to prevent capping and cap the map and yet the Vermark doesn't have the full map. It's really strange. Um, he's trying to kill the sniper with Calliope. I think the sniper didn't do much on that game. Because the counter snipe, or at least the fear of the counter snipe prevent him, him from actually using it much. Um, nice um, stool shot there. And riflemen coming up, but they're so weak they won't be able to get the map. Uh, it's only yeah. I feel like he lost this game long time ago, and he's just sitting in the game because the Vermark player didn't actually finish the game. Mm. Mm. He could still, if he doesn't have an op enough population cap, he should definitely get the repair bunkers. Could get the one medic bunker. He could get. NG bunker to prevent American from capping points. He could could do so much thing with those munitions too. He could be using Blitzkrieg ability with all the tanks together for massive push. Could be waiting for manpower blitz and leave like so much manpower. Um, he's kind of in a wi in a win position. I mean, you'd really have to try hard to lose uh, from such position as Vermont. Having so much resources, so much units. Um, should be more careful. We might lose that that stack. 
Yeah, he will probably... No, he won't lose it because he's using his Reaper Ring at the same time. Unless there's a Calliope completely <laughs> killing Sarmi. <laughs> which might actually happen. Um, kill the pack at least. Some other units. But it didn't kill any tank. And yeah, as I said, if you get lots of Stug, um, the American won't be able to actually kill, kill them. As we see there, he has tanks and nothing... He has no fear of anything. It's just like can kill any and don't lose that squad, please retreat in time. Um Yeah I I'm not really very excited about this end game, mid game end game. I really liked the early game. But then the game really went too long. Um it could be once again being capping around. He could, he should be fighting with his units, not sending that one alone. He should be spending his munitions on anything but on something, please. Never were first kill with <laughs> zero kill, both with zero kills. Um, that sniper not moving. MG covering up on if though they like no rifleman. He could be capping and pushing the MG forward. Andros, yeah, I don't know, I think... Well, since I made all of that time sync stuff, I won't fast forward, but <laughs> I really would like to do it, actually. I don't really have much more to say, I already, I already told everything I had in my mind um, about both players, and the game isn't really getting exciting, so I don't really have much more to add. He's yeah, nice, he's finally getting the bunker, much too late, but he's finally getting it. Um, That MG was kind of surprising. I don't understand the MG positions. <laughs> um, and he still managed to cap that center victory point. I really don't get that. Um, the Vermont has such a greater army. Um, in field presence that should should really conclude that game. Could put anything. IOP for single retreat but not killing much. Um, the Vermont player could, I mean, if he's could go continuing that way, the American could almost come back into that game. I have the feeling he will lose by victory point before being able to come back, but it's really close. And one IOP still has zero, zero kills. The other one has more, the 21, 11 kills, and one tank. Those Shermans are being really, really passive, and if he gets a nice army of them, he can do some damage. But the American player is getting Veteran C3 for the tanks, so that those Shermans will really have hard time dealing with those, all of those tanks. Um, especially if they're repaired, which is now the case thanks to the bunker. Um, um, yeah, I guess we'll see a big, big pushing from American using Fields of Reaper and Vermark using Blitzkrieg. And if he's focused firing the American tank, he will be able to kill them quite easily. He's finally getting the army I was expecting him to get 20 minutes ago. If he had the same units 20 minutes ago, the game would be over already because American cannot counter that. There's so much floating munitions. Finally some offensive capping, it was about time. Finally the tank army. Um, one second, one other park, I really don't like seeing all of those packs. I mean, why would you get them when you can just get tanks instead? Um, especially when there's two color IOP and you have already the veteran C3 for the tank, you should just get more stub. And he's really not going for the building, I don't understand why he's, he keeps not going into it. I don't even understand the retreat actually.
He should be using the machine gun with the virus, he could be retreating those riflemen. He should be spending the munitions on Goliath or something. Yeah, he could send a Goliath and prevent capping, finish the squad. Um, it's really getting getting too long, the game is not worth being long that much. Mm. It would be a nice game if it was uh, 25 minute games with the Vermont player closing it much earlier, it would be a really nice one. but. It's really getting long for for no reason. Um, yeah. <laughs> Both player, lots of units and just not moving, not trying anything. Um, finally, <laughs> really aggressive capping with sniper. <laughs> Mm, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't see the American player coming back with all the resources from Akliyas. Once he will unlock the um, manpower blitz, he can just basically spam as much units as he wants. Um, like he could get uh, really, really, really a lot of manpower. He could be losing his whole army. He could, he would still have the resources to build it once again. I should be retreating the sniper after the capping. Or at least moving it from there because he might die to the jeep. Which may also the jeep will also be able to cap to cap since there's some more in red ability. Yeah, I wouldn't understand if that sniper didn't die. <laughs> that would be really really sad for American player to not even get that victory. He lost, yeah, he killed the sniper, but he lost one Sherman. And there's finally pushing with all of the uh, the nice tanks. Really, um, next time, please get that army much earlier in the game. Really get it much earlier. Focus fire, also the tank. It's not good to to eating a bit each tank, you should focus firing one tank, finishing it then doing the same on the second one not turning your back, you, you could have killed that, that one before um, I guess you should call manpower blitz and get an officer and just start mas massive production of, of tank I don't know why you're so f so focusing on the Calliope. I mean, if you're killing the Sherman first, then the American has no units to actually counter your stacks, and you could just killing the Calliope afterwards. There's no need for you to make a priority of them. You should make a priority priority of the Shermans. Yeah, there it is could be using the nables at the same time to kill the base I could, yeah, could do lots of stuff And the jeep capping. It's last attempt because you will lose anyway. Pershing on the field, but veteran C3 stocks are better than Pershing if they are grouped together. They are not, so uh, Pershing might win, but if they are focus firing, you can easily take down the Pershing. You could, yeah, afford so much of them. And the machine gun killed the jeep. And the game should be over relatively soon. And yeah, there's. I think the Pershing went over mine. And it will easily be killed by that. 
that full Vermont army. And there it is finally. Um at the end of the game. Um it's yeah it definitely was a bit too long for me. Um still nice early game, but the game went too long. Um so um, yeah, I think I've told everything for the Vermont I won't repeat myself because I already repeated myself during the world game. So you know what you can improve. Um, for the American, I think um, there's really an improvement to do with the rifleman. The rifleman player was really too weak, um, not getting any kills, but you won't see for them. It's really bad, um, some American, because then you doesn't scale well into the game. Um, but I'm not exactly sure how it's like. Yeah, I don't know if the feeling the Vermont player was just completely better during almost the whole game. So there's no specific point, I can say this was really bad. It's like, maybe just you were not on it, maybe just a bad game, it happens sometimes. Um, so I guess, maybe, yeah, I just, I hope you play better next time. <laughs> I don't really have particular points to, to say, you, you got open sports center to break the pin got the triage on time, mm, you got tank depot kind of on time also. I think you made some nice uh, some not not good pushing with the tanks. You were almost at the wall map at some point and you could just have been waiting, getting building a force and instead you continued to rush for nothing. I think yeah maybe it was it was the turning point for the American player. It's when all of those solid war machines were used to kill almost nothing on that side of the map. Um, should have been waiting, making kills with indirect fire units. Preventing Wehrmacht from getting victory points was definitely enough. And yeah, then maybe more mines also. I didn't see lots of mines. And yeah, I think that's it. So thanks for watching. I hope I'll be able to ma manage that, that bug I had in the middle of of the recording um I will put the two parts together, I don't know if it would be enough. So yeah, um thanks for watching. Once again give me feedback and don't forget to follow YouTube if you want to get the last notification for last videos. You can also request me shortcast from your games or review for improving your play as you want. Just contact me. And so thanks for watching and goodbye.